So sitting, I'm sitting down right now. My legs are done. They're, they're just, they're done <laughs> after the workout I went through today, but I wouldn't change it for the world grateful that I'm able to move and I think it was just the Olympic spirit really flowing through me with all of the excitement so before we get started shout out to Allison and Felix on becoming the most decorated woman in track and field history securing her bronze medal in the 400 meter final I mean I was glued to my TV early 8.35 on Friday morning. It didn't work and didn't matter if I did. I was still going to make sure I was watching to support. And she ran the second fastest time in her career. So shout out to Cammy's mom. Uh, it was so amazing to watch and support. And you put Seish out there for the world to see on the big stage and on the podium. And other big sports news for myself. Andre Iguodala is returning home. Now I say home because he was a warrior prior to, I know he's from Philly, but I'm saying home because he's returning to the place where he won a ring. And I'm just so excited to have Iggy back. But today we're talking about the uh, eBay authentication process because I finally experienced it for a shoe I've wanted since the start of 2021. Yeah, I that's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still finish and one, yeah What's up, everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ, aka TJ Two Swoosh T Yeezy. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in to another video. And it's a Saturday when you're watching this, so happy Saturday. Anything you're going after sneaker wise, I truly wish you the best of luck. I went for the undefeated forces, and it was just a no. Even went for the dunks, and that was a no as well. I just sat there in line and. Nothing good came from it, but that's nothing new <laughs> either. Uh, but we know that, at least for me, eBay is bae. I say that all the time, unless it's like Clay Thompson, eBay is bae. So I shopped there for a lot of sneakers and you guys have seen them on this channel. I mean, this Jordan 3 was an eBay pickup, not to mention the sneaker I got myself for my birthday last year, the New Balance 327 in the women's colorway. That was also from eBay. There are tons of eBay uh, sneakers that I've picked up as well as clothing. So you you can find quite a few gems on eBay. I know some kind of, you know, stepped away from it for a while, but if you know what you're looking for and you have the patience to search, you can find a lot on there. Not to mention they've updated uh, their policies and the way they do business. I mean, now with sellers, you don't even have to deal with fees if the sneaker that you're selling is over $100. So I think that offers a lot. It's a great alternative, especially to, you know, the other platforms that we come to know, such as Go and StockX. But the big news that broke is their partnership with SneakerCon to uh, enact the authent authenticity guarantee uh, whenever you're buying shoes, but also watches and other things. So what was my experience with it? authenticity guarantee process? Let's just break down how long the process actually took, at least for myself. Uh, so I purchased this sneaker, the best new silhouette of 2021. I will die on that hill. And I'm talking about the Jordan MA2 in the future beginnings colorway. So if you guys recall, it was the very first colorway to debut for this brand new model by Jordan brand in 2021 in both men's and women's sizing. But I took an L and the resale price was actually kind of up there for my size on StockX and then on GOAT. So I just, I was patient, but I found a uh, half size up from what I would normally get in an MA2. So I picked up a size eight for $119. Now there was no box, but I'm not upset. It's a brand new sneaker. I don't need the box. I will wear this quite a bit. It'll probably end up on the wall behind me, but I purchased the sneaker on July 25th. From there, the seller ships it to eBay. They authenticate and then eBay within three business days, they ship it to me. And so my, the sneaker actually arrived, if I'm not mistaken, August 3rd. So that's a total of nine days pretty much um, from uh, the time of purchase purchase to the time it arrived at my doorstep. I think that's pretty reasonable in terms of the time, you know, uh, span itself. Now, if you're curious in terms of the authentication process, like you as the buyer, do you have to pay a fee for that? No, you absolutely do not. At least for the limited time that we are in, they're not charging buyers for the authentication process, nor are they charging sellers. And if you are looking to unload quite a few, you know, sneakers within your collection, or you're looking to add something that maybe you took an L on, so you're reaching back, 
back uh, or you're just on the hunt for something. I mean, I hunt all the time for really good like Nike SB Dunk deals. I don't find them a whole lot, but I still look and I hunt and I search for it. But I, I'm sure with the authenticity program, it provides peace of mind for a lot of people on the platform. So if we're talking in comparison to other buying and selling sneaker platforms, uh, I have not used StockX in some time, but GOAT I've absolutely used. And I picked up this right here, the Air Max One London. I did a breakdown for you guys there and I actually purchased my Kobe Grinch uh, through GOAT as well. So that should be on the way pretty soon. Uh, I've had a great experience with both of them in terms of you know time and transit or the total process from purchasing to the sneaker arriving to my doorstep after being authenticated. So I have zero complaints. Now I know early on when the authentication process first started and rolled out for eBay, some people said, hey, it just took such a long time. It really took away from the experience. And I'm guessing maybe they've, you know, improved upon that, really streamlined the operation process. I'm not 100% sure because I don't know what goes on behind the scenes there. But I know that I've had zero problem uh, with you know, with using this the very first time using it. So will I do the, uh, do this again? Yeah, I have a lot of shoes either in my cart or on my watch list. So the future beginnings was just something I stumbled upon again, searching for another MA2. And there's another colorway that I may very well pick up in the near future. But this was a top priority on my list. You guys know, like I'm, I'm known as the the MA2 girl at this point. I'm pretty sure I'm known as that. I will own that. I will own it all of 2021. Uh, Jordan Brand just know I am for, I'm your biggest cheerleader for this silhouette. And now I have the flagship colorway that released for it. So please sound off. Have you used the eBay authenticity guarantee process since they rolled it out? If so, what's your experience with it? And don't worry, I will have a full review breakdown, unboxing and styling for the Jordan MA2 future beginnings that should come out tomorrow. Uh, if you like this video or if this helped you out in some way, please go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I truly appreciate it. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.